How's it going everyone? It's your Immortal Health Seeker back with another review. Today I'm going to be checking out the Batman Kind of Dark Knight Returns? Kind of not? <laughs> Armored Batman figure. Um, again, I don't know really I if, it, if it's just based off of Dark Knight Returns uh, or what, cause, but this looks nothing like it. <laughs> If I can find the Mattel one, I might use that in this video. I mean, here, actually, I have the uh, non-armored one right here. And, uh, yeah, that does not look like this aesthetic. That being said, this is still a really cool figure, despite me being disappointed it's not a Dark Knight Returns look. It's It seems like a hodgepodge of the Ben Affleck Batman and kind of the armor design in general, like that, that look is based off Dark Knight Returns, but um, the colors and the proportions seem based off the Ben Affleck suit. So I don't know if McFarlane just wasn't sure if they wanted to do a BVS Batman or if they just wanted to do Dark Knight Returns. I'm not sure, but let's take a look at this figure and I uh, will give my thoughts. For accessories, we get our typical McFarlane stand. I don't know if that's a misprint or if that is new. Um, but the uh, DC logo's on the side now and not on the front. I don't have to look. I don't know if that's new or if that is a misprint. I can't find the base that came with my gold lip Lazarus. I'm going to assume that's new, but we'll see. We have four different hands to choose from, so you get, these are the ones that are not on him in the box that I have been using, like more open hands. And then, I don't know why they don't match. Uh, you get a gun hand, kind of, which you don't include the blaster that he uses in the comic. And then you get a fist uh, to punch Superman. So, that's cool. And also, of course, you get the, the trading card. I wish it was a picture from the comic book. That being said, it isn't. I don't know. It's it's a it's a cool card. I'm just disappointed it's not, you know, picture from the comic book. Even though, again, this is kind of an original design anyway. All right, sit closer to the figure. All right, so here we have him. Now, if you're wondering where I found him, I found him at Walmart. Uh, he was actually $15 he wasn't that expensive uh, I don't know if it's just because like some of these like newer releases have been 15 bucks because like last year the the regular Batman didn't sell great and then right as the host started selling they started getting all the new stuff like the Dark Knights Metal uh, first wave like with the Dawnbreaker and stuff those were $15. I got that whole wave, including the Devastator, which is huge, I might add, for $15 each. This guy was also $15. Bucks. They had two of him. They had two of the Thomas Wayne Unmasked Batman, which I don't like. I think that's a really bad re-release. And then they have the Batman Beyond, which I thought was really cool to see. Um, you know, finally in retail. That being said, this was the one I wanted. I was super excited to see him in hand. Um, friend of mine, and I won't name names, I know he's probably going to end up watching this. Uh, two weeks ago, he found this guy, and I was yelling at him, saying, dude, buy it. I have not seen anyone come out with a review on that guy. Buy it. And he's like, oh, I'm not sure. And then he finds some, like, it's one of the Mego figures. And I think those figures are so shitty, so I don't understand his mentality. He picks that up instead. And I'm like, dude, you know, whatever. You do you. But at the same time, I couldn't get his rationale. Probably because I'm a huge collector of these. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, 
this is a cool figure. <laughs> I'm going to be rambling about how much I think this figure is cool, but I have a lot of issues with it, but I'm still going to end up probably thinking this is one of my favorite figures of the year. So, he's big. He's really chunky, uh, which he should be. Now, I thought the cape was going to be cloth. It isn't, but it looks fantastic, so who cares? Articulation isn't the best. Uh, you get, you know, his arms go about that far. Singles run at elbows, which is kind of expected on this big of a figure. Average hand articulation. Swivel there. Now, the chest. Now, if you're like me, I would have assumed it was like the Joker and Robin and all those other ones, that this would have been soft. It isn't. It's hard plastic. And you don't get too much movement in, but again, it's like the actual armor is. It's kind of clunky. You get a really nice uh, snap hinge with the leg, which again, I am a fan of. You know, um, the feet, which are, are on kind of a small peg. They're on an average sized peg. So it's not really good and it could break. So be careful on that. They actually did paint the spikes, which is awesome. No thigh cut, which you'd think they could put that in because the uh, Batman from, uh, fuck, White Knight, the Azrael had thigh cut. And it's yeah, a similar kind of look. So, yeah, again, like, it, their articulation's okay, but you're going to have them in this basic pose for probably most of the time because you can't really get them into anything crazy. Yeah, you're going to have them in a pose like this. He looks great. I can't complain about that. I have my issues, though, with, the, like, the design. Like, it looks good, but I, I dislike the fact that they couldn't settle on Ben Affleck or the comic one. And I just, I... I don't like that they put Dark Knight Returns on it when this isn't Dark Knight Returns Batman. Nonetheless, let's get to some com uh, c comparisons because this is taking too long. And you know, as much as I dislike Mattel uh, and their DC range, and actually I shouldn't say dislike, I mean hate. I hate Mattel's days with DC. They did a good job at the armored Batman figures. I, I can't deny that. Uh, this BVS, that was my first, like, modern multiverse figure in uh, what was like the red packaging or orange packaging that was the first one I got and it was pretty good I, one of my favorite figures as a kid it's cool I enjoy it I played with a lot still have it it's it's not bad it actually looks really good and then we have the uh, Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman honestly the only figures in the Mattel range that I still kind of like are the Dark Knight Returns figures and if McFarlane's going to make them, then, you know, these are going to all get beat out. But honestly, I might as well like, throw in the, this guy here, too, the Walmart exclusive. This ain't bad either. Um, but again, these had the proportions of the Dark Knight Returns figures. This guy doesn't. This guy has, like, a more... I could see him fitting in better with the Snyder Cut Batman. Glad it's not animated stuff. I much prefer if the proportions look, you know, more realistic... But still, I actually really like this guy too. This guy's cool. This uh, armored Batman by Mattel. He's kind of a, he was kind of a peg warmer. You could probably still get him for a decent price, but he's cool. I, I like him. He actually has the rubber soft plastic material here. It's not like what I remember, but it's still there. Here he is next to the Action Comics 1000 Superman. Yay! I got it right. I usually call it Detective Comics. And then Damian Wayne Robin, since there isn't, I don't own a Carrie Kelly Robin, unfortunately, which really sucks because she's my second favorite Robin behind Jason Todd. Again, if that rumors are true of a uh, of a uh, Dark Knight Returns bath wave, I don't see why she wouldn't be in it. <laughs> uh, again, it adds the female character in there too, and a smaller character to like include the torso piece. I don't see why she wouldn't get a figure. Um. But yeah, there you go. Here he is next to one of the best and most underrated figures in the line, the White Knight Joker. They just perfected that whole joint and the abs. And then objectively the best figure in the line, the Red Hood. I, I love that figure.
Here he is next to my only gold label figure, the white Azrael, which I personally use as Michael Lane and the Ben Affleck Batman. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga, Iron Man and Thanos. I'll probably get to a review of these guys soon. They're really cool. I mean, I would, I didn't care for most of the Infinity Saga line, to be honest. I didn't get all the hype over it. I love the anniversary lines, but I just thought this was kind of like the most like, okay. Of them all, we're like, 10th anniversary, oh my god, this is so cool. That's actually really one of the lines that really got me into Marvel Legends. The uh, 80th anniversary, oh, awesome, we're finally getting definitive comic figures. X-Men, I'm like, oh my god, Hasbro's finally giving figures of these X-Men characters. I'm not an X-Men fan, but I've always wanted, you know, these characters as figures. And then, Infinity Saga? Like, I thought it was more of a placeholder line, which it kind of is. And that, yeah, this set I've been wanting forever. I wanted a more film accurate Thanos. I have the SHF, uh, the first SHF Thanos, and I love it, but it's not film accurate at all. It just looks really cool. This is film accurate, and they both come with a shit ton of accessories. Iron Man, finally with the gauntlet. That is the best RDJ likeness other than Hot Toys. That figure's great. That Iron Man is going to end up on my one of my favorite figures of the year list. That figure's like almost perfect. I love it. And then the uh, Thanos is also really good, and surprisingly, he's really close to Batman's height. That just shows you how big Batman Here is. Here he is, next to two infantry characters from the other two lines that I collect that I haven't shown yet. A Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper, and a G.I. Joe Classified Cobra, uh, Cobra Infantry. Eventually, I do want to get more of those Cobras. I have three Stormtroopers, not counting my Remnant and my uh, Flame Trooper, which are like pretty much the same body mold, and are really similar. So, I got a shit ton of Stormtroopers, and I only have one Cobra Soldier, so uh, if, I, if I open a P.O. box, they send me one? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not opening a P.O. box. I don't like when people give me shit. <laughs> <laughs> and last but certainly not least, here he is next to Snake Eyes and Spider-Man with Carnage on his back. I just repaired that guy, glued his foot, because I'm like, I'm not going to find another one of these that really over... I mean, I don't want to pay over 20 bucks for a loose one, so. By the way, I've planned it out since I've had these guys as my things for a year. Uh, I'm going to, I'm announcing it here. As soon as I get the new Storm Shadow figure, I'm temporarily, probably like for a month, I'm going to have Storm Shadow and Venom take over. Even though I know, I, I consider Green Goblin the nemesis of Spider-Man. Venom, I just think, is kind of more of a reverse. And then eventually I'm going to do a stop motion, just like how I did... Snake Eyes versus Spider-Man for 200 subs. I'm gonna do Venom and Snake Eyes, or Spider-Man and Snake Eyes versus Venom and um, Storm Shadow. So that's coming. I don't like, probably the next milestone I'm gonna put it out because I didn't really do anything for 300. So I don't, and I'm, we're, we're almost at like 350 now. So as soon as we get to like maybe 400, I'm gonna make that. Again, it'll probably be like just as quick. I'll probably have a cameo from Batman, cameo from Mando, cameo from Logan, all that. So, um, yeah, but there you go. Again, I have Carnage on his back. I saw T-Man do that, and I did it right before my Carnage broke. Uh, and I thought it looked really cool, so that's how I display Spider-Man. So, yeah. All right, so we have another great figure by McFarlane. Seeker stop kissing McFarlane's ass. I'm sorry, but I, mean, I love this line. I just have so much fun collecting them. I, I, think, I just think they're way more fun than Marvel Legends. You can hate me all you want. I just don't understand why people like Marvel Legends more other than they like the Marvel property more. I like them about equally, but again, I like DC more right now because the figures are so cool. They're so kick-ass. They're fun. I, don't, I know, like, you can say they're, oh, it's kind of worse than the Marvel Legends. When Marvel Legends are good, they're almost perfect. But a lot of them are average. <laughs> DC Multiverse, I feel like every figure is at least good. Recent figure, obviously. Like, it seems like they improve on themselves, like, every wave they come out with something new that's also amazing. Like, I thought the Snyder Cut figures were fucking awesome. I couldn't wait for those. Just how people couldn't wait for the Infinity Saga stuff. At least a lot of my friends were really excited about it. And then I get, um, you know, those, and I thought they were really cool. I had that whole set, except some of the, except the variants, but again, I don't really care. 
and then I pre-ordered all of them, all that, and they look great. I created my own display for them because they look so cool. Um, and then the, the King Shark Wave comes out, which I love back-to-back -back movie figures. Movie figures I have so much fun with, MCU or DC. I love movie figures. And Suicide Squad, I got really excited for that movie mostly because of the figures. The figures were so cool. And the week the movie came out, I was able to sweep and get all of them. And I finished the, the, uh, the King Shark build figures a couple days before the movie came out. And that was really cool. Um, nonetheless, the, 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 I think a lot of those King Shark Wave figures on their own aren't that good. But then together, I think they're really badass. And again, my love for that movie, I've seen it like three times. My love for that movie... One of my new favorite comic book films, if not one of my new favorite films ever, because it's, it's so good. And um, it's my favorite movie of this year. And um, I, I want a series, too, because, again, Ratcatcher, I'm in love with that character, <laughs> like, so fucking much. She's my profile icon on Discord, TikTok. I, ha I, I was having a fucking breakdown trying to hunt for that Funko Pop because they, they don't have any action figures of her. So I was able to get the Funko Pop a couple days ago and I'm happy again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I, I love that character. I want to see more of her in the future. I want a figure so fucking bad. You heard me, McFarlane. I want a series two with Thinker, Rick Flagg, uh, Ratcatcher, and then probably a, a new Harley Quinn in like her opening scene here. Honestly, Savant would be cooler, but I see them doing Harley with, like, a Starro Build-A-Figure. Anyway, that's me rambling. Um, this figure is really cool. Again, every one of these figures, I have they have something I like about them, except the red Batman variant. That figure's just shit. This guy here. I bought him because he was on clearance, and it was a price I couldn't refuse. Uh, I hate this thing. The body mold's amazing, too. It's embarrassing that this figure's on that body mold. Um, <laughs> anyway, again, I love this figure. It's really cool. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'd go pick it up, especially for $15. You can't go wrong. If you're getting into this line, this is a good starter. Um, again, he isn't so stylized like the uh, animated figures, and I like what they're going. Supposedly, there's two more animated figures on the way of the Superman and a Flash. Hopefully those at least look somewhat good and they don't look anything like the previous ones, but I have a feeling they will. That Flash, I, I really do think will look really bad. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, again, he's worth getting, especially for 15 bucks. I, I, got, I got him for a really good price. I'm really impressed. I definitely recommend it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends that are interested. I'm your Immortal Health Seeker, and goodbye.